So Carrie Lake, massive Trump supporter, 110,000% loyal to Trump. She is running for the Senate in the state of Arizona. Well, what you're about to listen to is the Arizona Republican chairman, Jeff DeWitt, bribing her to bail, to drop out of the race. You have to listen to it yourself to believe this. Is there a number at which... I can be bought. Can be bought. <laughs> That's what it's about. You can take a pause for a couple of years. No. And then go right back to what you're doing. No. 10 million, 20 million, 30, no, no, no. A billion, no. This is not about money. This is about our country. There are very powerful people who want to keep you out. Oh, no, and they do. But they're willing to put their money where their mouth is in a big way. So, this conversation never happened. These people are corrupt. Well, maybe you're right. They are right. They are corrupt. They want you to be on their team. But Just team. You know? But if they're pushing a globalist agenda, I can't do that. So what do they want? What do they want me to do? They want you to stay out for two years. <laughs> She literally ends that conversation. It goes for six minutes, easily found online. A thrilling listen if you're interested. She literally ends that conversation saying, they'll have to kill me first. What <laughs> a loyalist. I love this woman, Arizona. Give her your votes. But it just goes to show, with friends like these, who needs enemies? Trump's war is not just from those without, but also from within the Republican Party. That guy is the GOP rep of the Republican Party in the state of Arizona, and he's clearly in with the big dogs up the top who want her, need her, will pay anything for her to bow out. Another interesting story in the States. You know how Texas, being a border state, got absolutely sick of these illegals just romping on into Texas. So they decided we're taking control of our own border. Stuff you, federal government. Biden administration's done nothing but facilitate six million illegal aliens in just three years. We've had jack of it. We're taking control of this. They put up razor wire so no one could get across and they stopped the feds from being able to access Eagle Pass. Then the feds got the Supreme Court to rule that actually we, the feds, can cut down your razor wire and once again just allow open slather of illegals into Texas. Well, the governor of Texas, his name is Greg Abbott, wasn't having a bar of it. He wrote the most blistering letter, be still my beating heart. One single line of it says, I have already declared an invasion to invoke Texas's constitutional authority to defend and protect itself. That authority is the supreme law of the <clears throat> land and supersedes any federal statutes to the contrary. Australia, what we wouldn't give for a single leader in this country to have these kind of gonads. He is protecting Texas come hell or high water. I just love this. Being a border state, they have copped the brunt of this invasion by design mm. by the Biden administration. And he's like, I don't even care about... He was schooling them on the Constitution in that letter saying, our founding forefathers foresaw this very thing and gave the states the power to protect themselves. So you guys can sod off. It's, well, it's beautiful. It, it's so amusing, again, because we talked about this, was it last night? Yeah. Um, the, the excuse that um, the Department of Homeland Security has come up to, to get this uh, a ruling to go and cut down the barbed wire is that the barbed wire stops them from getting the other side to talk to the illegal people who want to come in. So if it stops them getting to the border, then it stops people getting over the border into the US, uh... doesn't it? Going back to Carrie Lake, yep. um, uh, Jeff DeWitt, um, or a dimwit or nitwit or whatever you want to call him, <laughs> no, he, he said that that conversation he had was intended to, quote, offer perspective, not coercion, oh, and that he please. had been set up. I mean, mate, if you call that a set-up, the only bloke who's set you up is yourself. I mean, you're just <laughs> there on tape saying, look, there's lots of people who want to pay a lot of money for you to not run. What an and idiot. That, that was just a tiny segment. That whole thing yeah. goes for six minutes, and it bears mentioning... 
that our mate resigned today. He literally <laughs> tweeted saying, Kerry Lake's team have told me <laughs> if I don't resign, they've given me an ultimatum. If I don't resign, they're going to release even more damaging recording so that guy knew his time was up and he's the other thing it. he said that made me laugh was he said i can't believe this i mean we were having a, a cordial meeting sitting in her living room as if you know bribery is wrong but <laughs> if you're doing it in someone's living room then it's okay yeah, well, that, that was matter? the other and the other thing he said was you know i, I don't know that we can trust a, a candidate who doesn't keep private conversations <laughs> private well, if your private conversations involve corruption and bribery, I think it's a slightly different matter. And within her own party. I mean, she's I done know. Republicans a favour just yeah. being like, Trump, he is an absolute traitor. See ya.